to tell you the story behind one of my most popular songs. And it is one of the most popular songs because I was very fortunate to have it placed in the TV show Atypical on Netflix. It's on season four, episode three, the end. It's called That Siren Hope and it's from the That Siren Hope album. It came from a time when I was feeling really dark and like hope was a siren, a mythical siren who lures you in with a beautiful song and everything that you want to hear and then you crash and die on the rocks. So, you know, just a well, cheery, upbeat song, but it was, uh, it was a feeling. I think that a lot of people have had that feeling of just being really disappointed. So something to help that feeling flow through you. It has a lot of imagery and ocean imagery in it. I grew up around Big Sur in my adolescence after moving to California from the farm in Florida. And I was standing on one of those beautiful cliffs looking down at the ocean and how it, when you know, it hits the water and it's foamy and it looked like lace from so high up. And I just thought, you know, it's like the ocean, like an old woman whose hands are gnarled from centuries of spinning lace. That's one of the lyrics in there and talks about coming to these cliffs where you feel like you're gonna leap off of the cliff into something good, but then you don't get it and maybe you fall or you're just splashed. It says, I came to the cliffs all in ecstasy and I left with salt upon my face. You know, from the ocean, salt water or tears. It also references something that I read in a book called The Four Agreements, I believe it was. It said something like, you could throw a whole building into a turbulent ocean and no one would even notice, but you can drop a feather or a grain of sand into the middle of a peaceful, calm lake and the ripples would go out all the way to the edges and be seen. And it was a metaphor for having a quiet mind and that allowing your wishes to be heard. And that's something that I've definitely struggled with, having anxiety and, and just holding on to something so tight and just like, you know, throwing rocks at it, I just want it, you know? Instead of just trying to be peaceful and really listen and be receptive. It does sound like a pretty hopeless song, <laughs> but there's a part in the bridge that says, you keep singing, and I'll be the dancer. Because if you're singing about love, I'm gonna keep listening to that song. I, I don't wanna give up, not really. <laughs>